Oh, oh, oh man, if this guy, if this GM can pull this off, I am going to literally crap myself for the rest of the week. Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. It's a crazy world out there because Howie Roseman could be wheeling and dealing when we don't even know about it. So there has been some news about from Jeff McClain about Howie Roseman. So this is what he had to say. Howie Roseman will be working the phones over the next 48 hours before roster cuts. Andre Dillard and Jalen Rager have drawn a lot of recent interest from teams. Roseman's price for Dillard is reportedly significant. Significant. So I want to start with this Andre Dillard stuff going on. There has been that much interest for Andre Dillard this whole entire time. Obviously, after that Miami game, I wasn't really happy about how he played. But I got to say this, okay, as much as it's only one game, and I totally understand it, it's one preseason game. He didn't play great, okay, so I totally understand it. But I think he could start for another team right now. I think he can. Um, and the only way I'm really giving him up if it's for a big draft pick and yeah, I'm not trying to and look. And yeah, I'm trying to fleece the team right now. That's all I'm really doing. I don't think Dillard's worth a first or a second round pick. Probably not. Okay, but I think he plays well enough. And the Eagles are just trying to put the high price. So Howie Rosen's putting that high price on Dillard to try to get something done. And I'm totally fine with that. He did almost the same thing with Fletcher Cox when he tried to trade him. They, I think they put up a second round pick and they couldn't get it. So they redid his deal. Okay, because the Eagles are not picking up his fifth-year option after this year for $12.5 million. That's definitely not happening. So the two sides to the Andre Dillard thing going on right now, I totally understand. Because I could be on both sides at the same time, so I'm kind of in the middle right now. The only way I am trading him is if we get a first or a second round pick. As of right now, or maybe a third and a fifth or something like that to get two picks. I can understand it's really hard for me to give him up if not getting a second round pick or higher than that because I just can't because the Raven Clark is your backup left tackle and I don't trust that guy I think he's horrible Stills is horrible all those guys that we have are horrible we don't have a lot of depth at left tackle right now and Dillard is yeah that's really it he can't play the right side he doesn't have much value in cross train but he's a prime left tackle and that's really it so I definitely get if you trade him it better be for something I get what the other side of this is too because Howie Roseman doesn't want to just let him roll through his contract this year, being pretty much behind Jordan Mulata, because Howie's probably like, Jordan Mulata will stay healthy. I'm not really worried about his health too much, and Dillard is going to literally be sitting there the whole entire time where I could trade him and get something for him. Because Howie Roseman does not like these like players running out of their contracts and walking out to their next team. He would rather get something for that player if they're walking. Okay, and honestly, he's relatively cheap, so he's not too expensive because they can redo his deal or something like that. But obviously, the fifth year option is going to be another thing that a team needs to deal with if that's the case. Um, but I understand the two sides to the dealer thing. I, I, unless it's a second round pick or a first, it, it's tough for me to let him go because God forbid Mulata goes down. You are going to you are going to have issues if Dillard is not here. I think Dillard as more playing time he gets, I think he gets better, okay? I don't think the Eagles really ever since they drafted Dillard, I don't think they've done right by him. They really they they redshirted him his first year when Jason Peters was already here and they started him three times, went at right tackle, blew his confidence out of the water. They they really did a number on Andre Dillard to be honest with you. I'm just going to say the truth on that. And then he's had attitude problems and you know, he's just had issues and injuries have been a big concern with him. But this year, besides a concussion, he's been pretty damn healthy. Last year, he took over for a couple of games for Jordan Mulata. So I was pretty happy about that. And he stuck in there with well. Didn't play great. Didn't play bad. I thought he was very solid at left tackle when Mulata had to miss a couple games last year. Okay, so the Dillard thing, I get both sides to it. I'm only trading. I mean, if it's significant... Significant better sound like it's a second round pick because if it's not a second round pick, I don't want to trade him. So look, if they he pulls something off like this, it is what it is because either that or he's going to stay on this team. Um, he's putting the price really high because teams are going to want him. Teams uh, teams have been calling. That's a good sign. Something we you know we heard that there was some rumors about Andre Dillard getting some calls, but I didn't think it was going to be this crazy to where there's a lot of interest right now.
So that's the news on Andre Dillard. Secondly, I mean, McLean didn't mention anything about the Jalen Rager thing going on. So we've known that teams have had interest. We know that during the draft, Ravens had interest in uh, Jalen Rager and, you know, the Eagles didn't pull the trigger on it. And there's been the Denver Broncos. There's been a few teams. We've talked about the Chicago Bears. We talked about teams he could definitely go to that need receivers. He's not going to might not go to a good team, but definitely can make his name somewhere else. And I think be, from the beginning of the offseason, the Eagles have had this thing with Rager where they kind of met in the middle and said, look, I think we need to like get a divorce. Okay. We need to get a divorce and we just cannot see each other again. And we have to respect each other when we leave each other. And I think that's what they have been trying to do this whole time. But this last preseason game kind of put a big question mark on my head because now it's, he was pulled out very early. Okay. Of the Miami Dolphins game. He was pulled out really early. He didn't play long. He played with the backups, but he didn't play long at all. Usually that guy's in the last game played throughout the third and fourth quarter. It makes more sense for them to, you know, that they're still, that they haven't made the team yet, but it looks like Rager has made the team, but it doesn't mean he still can't get traded. I feel like even if he makes the team, he will get traded. Okay, whether it's a couple days after, whether, you know, whatever. It doesn't mean they have to make a move before they start doing cuts. They have to trade Rager before they start doing cuts. They can have Jalen Rager make the team and just trade him, which pretty much he's done, which he's off the roster and it opens another spot. So it doesn't really mean much of anything just because he made the team. Still think they could trade him. You saw the rumors of what they're trying to get for him. I think the Eagles are trying, and Howie Roseman is trying to, trade Jalen Rager to get another safety in the building. And I think that's what's going to happen. I'm not saying it Jesse Bates because he signed his franchise tag. So that's not happening. I don't think you're trading for Eddie Jackson. I don't think you're making a big move like that. I think you're getting some stability at that position. At least try to get some mid-tier player at that position that has been pretty good for a franchise. I don't know who. But I think they're trying to get not only maybe a draft pick, but they're trying to get a player in return as well that can help out this defense. And I think that's where they're going for right now. So it could be Denver, it could be Chicago. I mean, you never know what teams need. Uh, I mean, not Denver now. Denver, it uh, used to be Denver. Denver was a possibility a while ago, but they're set at receiver. Um, you know, so if there's that much interest for Rager and Dillard, especially Jay on Rager, that we've been talking about this since potential trade since the beginning of the off season and kind of wanted him out and kind of wanted him to be gone just because they took him out of that game early against Miami. doesn't mean he's making the team. They could surely, Hey, he can make the team. And then a week later, we still got two weeks till the season starts. They still got to trade for a running back. I mean, there's still things that they need to do. They can always use Rager as trade bait or Dillard as trade bait to trade for a running back or an extra body at safety. So I think it's very, very possible that both of these guys can get traded. You know, the Dillard thing I'm more sensitive about because we need that stability at left tackle when it comes to our death because you lose Dillard and you get you get a bad pick in return. Say they get like a fifth round pick for him and they trade him. I'm going to be pissed off. If they get a second to a first round pick for him, yeah, that'd be great. Is he worth a first round pick? No. Is he worth a second? Probably not. But how he is setting the, the market high for him. For draft compensation I have to respect that he's not going to give there's a lot of teams that give away players for nothing I think we know that there's times where you look at a player like he got traded for what and then you give then you flip out about it but Howie Roseman's not going to be stupid he's going to do a good job here so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about an Andre Diller trade a Jalen Rager trade which one do you think will happen first and I want to know from you guys in the comment section below what do you guys think the Eagles asking price for Andre Dillard is and what would what would be the one trade for him for a certain draft pick what would you do okay depending on the draft pick whether he stays or goes what would the draft pick what would sway you what draft pick would sway you for him to leave that's going to be an interesting one. This is going to be interesting. Howie Roseman is wheeling and dealing and die. Nah, he's like the Don. He's like the he's like the mafia boss. He's the concierge. He's he's sitting in the office right now. He's smoking a cigar. He's doing his thing. So that's all I got to say, guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up? Follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.